when there's a storm raging in your soul You gotta thank God that you're still growing old If them demons you're fighting won't go away Drop on your knees and pray Life can get hard sometimes, I know You gotta get up and walk the straight and narrow When they're chasing you down with an old bloodhound And you're running through the fields for your life you gotta get up, son, I know they're gunning for you It's very nice to be able to pull out fenders that are 1955. They have no rust, no dents. Pretty cool. These are these are absolutely thicker than factory. I was gonna say, hundred percent solid. Yeah. No holes for the trim. These are these are better than factory fenders. This stamping right here is not as sharp. I can tell that just from looking. There's no holes. Great. Yeah, I know. You gotta draw your own holes. You gotta fit them. So we're gonna use the doors. Yeah, that's very close. It doesn't seem to. I would put a shim up top. Definitely weird right there. Yeah, we're gonna need a shim under here, definitely. Can't see that little dent. Oh yeah, no, I see. Yeah. I I'll see that kink. Dent it up on the phone. So you see this gap up here? Mm -hmm. See how wide that is? That's not supposed to be like that. This fender needs to come in a little bit more. That's also why the fender is sitting out too far. See where it's touching? Mm -hmm. I can't go back any further without making contact on that cowl. So what we're gonna try to do shave is shave it. from here to here. Shave this down about a quarter of an inch. See if it'll give us a little more room to push this fender back and then maybe our door to panel to panel. Good idea. And then it's good and then it should improve this gap as well. Because the original fenders are about perfect for like gaps here. Not perfect, but better. Yeah, they're pretty nice. So this could be worth I wonder if it's just hitting the edge here or if it's also hitting the brace behind. I hope not. If it's hitting the brace behind, there's nothing we're gonna be able to do. But I'll just try to start with shaving this back. Seeing how that goes. Do you have a marker? Oh yeah. 
I can already tell. That's all the problem. Still got a little wider than normal. But, oh, <laughs> see that? It's because he pushed the front of the fender in there, What? Yep, that's where I want it, right here. Same thing. Look, we got an edge. Right there. Yep. See how it's touching? So I think if we grind under here, the, yeah. it's got a long edge yeah. under here, the lip on the backside, and it's touching the bottom of the cow under here. So I think if we shave this edge back here on the very bottom, it'll sit lower. Problems one one grind at a time. Yep. Ass packing it. Can you use better terms that most people would understand? Ass packing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's. That sounds kind of. Ass packing it. I don't know what. What do you yeah, mean? You love getting ass it's packed, touching it. It's touching. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Okay, Paul. <laughs> Yesterday, crowd out the visions of today. Don't let your past define your name. We will all be judged the same someday. Life can get hard sometimes, I know You gotta get up and walk straight and narrow When they're chasing you down with an old bloodhound And you're running through the fields for your life You gotta get up, son, I know they're gunning for you Chasing you down with an old bloodhound And you're running through the fields for your life You gotta get up, son, I know we're gunning for you So yesterday, 
I got all of my fitment done for the tail light pockets. So we wanted to get those perfect and we did a little bit of panel to panel body work right there. So I just spot primed the tops of the quarters, the tail light pockets up to there and then a couple little spots just so we could kind of see where we're at. So Nikki now is blocking all of that with 240 grit so that we can identify any highs and lows, any little dings or waves that need fixed. Got one? Oh, yep. So that's what we're doing there. I have the fender pulled off the new ones so i'm stripping these now down to bare metal so i'm still trying to determine which way i like better both ways kind of suck this isn't fun stripping anything so even e-coat so it's actually like a um, weld through silver zinc based primer or something on top and then the black e-coat underneath so it's pretty thin it'll strip easy but take a little bit of time so I'm gonna strip that one and then pull this one off and then after they're mostly stripped we'll hit them with 40 grit and 80 grit on a DA and then get it into the booth and get these primed today so I'm gonna try to prime those and the hood in the trunk whoa for that so we'll see that's the goal Gather around this table, boy Bring your shame, my lose my voice Screaming at the gods about the bad we've done Merle said, Mama tried, but the prison's still won Your transgressions are mine as well Anger grows in the bones you could not tell But I'll find comfort and company Lord, forgive us, my boys and me We're having an all-night revival Some call the women and someone steal the Bible Save my survival Baptize me in a bottle of beans for Johnny on the vinyl Well, the devil can't scrap but the Lord has won and I'll talk to him on the rising sun His sun arose and mine did too I was coming down but now I'm talking to you Cause we're having an all-night revival Some call the women and some will steal the Bible Alright, so we got the fenders primed and we just put the inners in. So these just have most most of the bolts in, not all of them. Still got a couple, it's like this. Yeah. So this is just for fitment. So we got one down. One we go. Yep. They fit great. Yeah, the inners, these fit awesome. 
for the aftermarket fenders and the aftermarket inners and that piece that's we'll all see with it on though that's true yeah say if it improved that okay. hood gap a little bit because it might have with the way that this kind of cranks on the hood backwards so it might help our gap a little bit we shall see So, right now, man, that's so much better already. So, this door, as you can see, it's damaged on this edge. Kind and it kind of dives in. So, from this angle, you can see better. We already have straightened it so much that it's hard to see. Is the door shut all the way? Yeah. yeah. So, I've been banging with these on the inside edge of the door to push that to line up with this because obviously the door is pinched right there and it's sitting low. So when the door opens, if, let alone the fact it looks like shit, but it'll grab right there if it's too close. It's we're, too low. Yeah, we're clearing now already. Yeah, we're just now clearing after he's been banging away at it. So keep going so basically i'm using this like a little dolly on the inside edge of that skin to push the skin flat you're not gonna be able to see it from there yeah, okay Almost there. Almost. You're getting there for sure. It's a lot better. You can see a difference on it's camera. It's not touching at all, so that's the important part. Oh yeah, it's clearing now. Great. Cracking my primer. So we are still, we are still um too close at the bottom down here, so you can tell it. Yeah. Ew. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably weld a skinny rod right here. And then from here, I'll weld the sticker rod. So right now we're fixing this gap on the hood. So they sent two different stamped fenders. So this is the nicer one. This is the lower quality one. Um, and the gap near the back of the hood. Not good. Yeah, a little too wide. But then it tightens up to about here. And we've already measured the core support and set everything this side. The gap is great all the way up. Other than this pocket where this is separately welded on. So we're going to have to do essentially the same thing there and add a weld rod. So that's what Jesse's doing. Did you drop your rod? Yeah, works smart. So otherwise we got the gaps where we're happy and where they need to be for an aftermarket, aftermarket panels at least. So there's only so good you can get them without doing this, no matter what. So this side is pretty great. Even still, always needs a little bit. Then we got The trunk fit in the tail lights, fitting beautifully. And the trunk gap is great. So it's popped up right now. So this latch keeps flipping. You just gotta twist it. Yeah, I know. For some reason. Where's the screwdriver? So we put two separate latches in it. Both of them, the spring doesn't 
flip the latch back or something in that right yeah this what is it that spring right there yeah it's been a couple days since i <laughs> yeah jesse's been sick for about a week i don't know if it's sick more like uh internal organ problems i don't know something not yeah. not a bug or virus but <laughs> he said a stomach ulcer we believe some some not good yeah but we're back maybe <laughs> Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. Yes. Yep. Turn it back and then it'll close. <laughs> so, there's the trunk gaps. Very nice and consistent. Still need to weld on a little bracket for the gas door lid and a few other little things, but slowly chipping away at it. Still need some body work, not much. So we've been working on the doors and slowly fitting some trim. So I found all the replacement clips for these. And all these, so we're getting all new hardware and clips for everything, all new weather stripping and rubber and all that stuff. 920 bucks. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? Yes. Just for the clips, oh my God. for the side molding, the clips for the hoops. We got the seals for the doors, seals for the windshield, um, fend inner fender seals, door seals, every rubber seal for the whole car. Yeah. Nothing's getting cheaper. Nope. This is not for the faint of heart. Because okay. that'd hurt. <laughs> My heart does hurt. <laughs> Some call the women and some will steal a Bible <laughs> For the sake of my survival <laughs> Baptize me in a bottle of beans Put Johnny on the vinyl Shame, I'll lose my voice Screaming at the gods about the bad we've done Merle said mama tried but so, prison still won body work on this um, We're almost done So everything in white That's all our finishing icing um, So that all just needs finished out um, Blocking with 180 this is our filler, so this is where that seam was um, for the headlight bucket, and then Jesse welded a rod on, um, or wait, no, he welded the rod on that side for this gap right here, because it wasn't consistent, and it even still needs shape a little bit right there, but this side, this was sticking out way too far compared to that side, and we measured and adjusted, and there's nothing, it was just the where they put this front little pocket, headlight pocket on, stuck out a little bit too far. So we beat that in and did a little bit of filler to fix that. So I'm sanding that now. I like to use these for like rounded areas because you can bend them and they hold the contour real well. And like for this, it's so hard with like a real flat block to get that nice. So I like using these. But everything's pretty much done. We got... We only had to do a little bit of um, like fitment work. So down here needed shaved and a little bit um, of welding. I can't remember where, it might've been the other side, but Jesse also needs to weld a rod on the bottom of that rocker to fill that gap. And then otherwise the gaps are really nice. I'm pretty happy with them. I need to shave this back a little bit, but that's all what we're doing right now and all of our final icing and all this stuff. And then I'm gonna get it in primer today. 
We have all of the, we have brand new moldings coming for the side. Got new clips for these, which these were pretty tough to find, but found those. We got new clips that hold the chrome on in the rear. We got this dog leg piece of chrome because that was missing when it came in. Um, every seal that I could possibly find for this car. I even got like the speedo cable plugs oh, for cool. the firewall and um, a little bracket for that. Yeah, we were missing the, forgot about getting the bracket for the. It just doesn't come with it. Yeah. On the new quarter panel. It's got a little bracket that you're, got, so I went to put the gas door lid on. I'm like, we don't have a <laughs> What does it mount to? <laughs> uh, nothing? <laughs> Goofballs? Uh, yeah. Just little things like that. There's always little things. Yep. So same thing with this little tail light strap inside here. You have to hold um, these in. They don't actually don't make that though. So that I could not find anywhere. So we just had to make that. And now it's in there. So it still moves around a little bit because it needs Tightened. slide clips that hold it. Oh, okay. That hold that down. So I actually, I ordered those too. Okay, cool. So I have those. I have every fastener or piece of rubber we got. $921 is how Ooh. much that all was. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's wild. But it's worth it. Once you get all new seals in, this thing's not going to be squeaky well, you, and it's not going to... We can put rusty hardware exactly. through these holes. Yeah, no. And just mount it to this nice... It doesn't rug. make it's sense stupid. to put all the old... And like the bracket that holds this corner piece this on. One. This one, I think. No, Isn't it's this one? front one. Oh, okay. It's this front. I remember taking oh, it right. off. It has yeah. this little yep. metal bracket that holds this corner piece on yep. and it was completely rusted out. So yep. need those. I thought that was going to be really hard to find, but there's actually quite a few kits of those. Yeah. They sell. Yep. So. Real deal steel or no? Um, Mutton Hollow Chevy. Oh, okay, cool. They have the most extensive like parts list. And most of the stuff is Dan Chunk, which is what I used on... The last 57 that we did and i really liked that stuff um so i got all that mostly yeah it looks like it's coming out super clean so it's Gaps gonna be pretty nice impressive yep let's finish our i'll do 180 so this on... had a rod remember that big oh yeah you are the one that i wanted it there you, know, you made us fix that yeah i wanted so that there this had as a weld rod essentially from here to here he's still not done so, with doing the body work on this no, edge yeah, that's, this so. edge is just overlap from the icing going over top yeah look at that but i'll do the 180 on the whole side all the body work go over that and yep. then we'll get to priming soon right yep i'm gonna try to prime it today Woo! so we'll look see look forward to If I were the devil, first thing that I'd do is I'd come off like I ever gave a damn about you. I'd let you catch a peek of all your greatest desires, and I'd watch the flames in your eyes burn like hellfire. Find all the wolves in the land And I'd make them fight each other Tooth and nail and hand to hand Find all the sheep, make them stir up the pot Cause once the wolves have killed each other Sheep are what I want The devil walks among us, friends I know this is true And I don't know if he's red and I don't know if he's blue One thing that I know Need to take a look around If I were the devil This world would be My playground I placed that thorny crown on my furrowed brow Well, I'd shine in all the tears of joy yelling from the crowd I want to brainwash the parents and 
And I have the world I'll be in every schoolhouse lecturing Little boys and girls Devil walks among us friends I know This is phosphoric acid. Stinks. It smells like spoiled I hate eggs. When I accidentally like breathe shit. <laughs> you in taste it? Like, get a yeah, taste. yeah, it's it's really good for the lungs. That it is not. So you're also really good at wearing your mask and shields and everything too. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that <laughs> you don't want to deal with the shit. That's why you leave it. Leave it for us to deal with. Yeah. Sorry, right, buddy. Hopefully you don't. So you can see in here, um, Jesse hit it real quick with a wire wheel to start with. It just kind of knocks the scaling off, makes it a little easier. This is kind of what you can expect to get. So this is after that same process. That looks great. I'm just scotch braiding it. That'll get rid of all your rust. So it's much easier to do it chemically than to try to sit here with either a grinder or, I mean, you could sandblast all this, but then you got all the sand getting in everywhere. Mm, yeah. Like when it's cut up into the structures, we don't want to put sand inside shit we can't get to. That's why when I started cutting it, I also vacuumed it because I, it okay. seemed like it was gonna, might not catch fire, but it was smoking. Yeah. <laughs> As I try to That's get it. Same thing with those empty boxes we had in there. I took those out too. They're mostly empty, I should say. But yeah, so that's pretty much what you got. Once yeah, that looks really good. Once you get it nice, um, you can let it sit for about 24 hours, and then you need to re-soften it with that. We probably will end up hitting this because yeah, that'll to, look nice. Oh yeah, we'll get yeah. that nice. Don't don't focus on that. Nope, this is this <laughs> Friday. This is a Friday cleanup Monday. We're really gonna probably do one more little uh, scrub and clean and then yeah, seal it. Let it sit on, on here over the weekend. Yep. It'll be nice. Um, it's gonna have put like a coating, like a really shitty coating on it that's like chunky and hard to get off. Um, but that's why you have to re-wet it with this and then just let it sit for like five minutes and it'll soften it all back up. And then you use hot water to neutralize everything. It sounds counterproductive because it's bare metal. I hate doing it too, but it's the only thing that will actually neutralize the acid. You could try like acetone and wax and grease and river and shit and it'll seem like it's neutralizing it, but it really doesn't. So you gotta use water. But hot water will stop it from turning like a brown, brownish tinge. It'll be like more of a blue tinge from the zinc phosphate coating that'll be on it. And then we'll prime it with the same black epoxy. That's good. That looks great. And then we can throw the, the uh, quarters on. Yeah. Wheel wheelhouses or outer, and then the quarter. Yep. So two days for. Removal. Removal, yeah. And then probably two days to install. Yeah. It's not too shabby. No, could be worse. So we'll see you Monday. See you, sweetie. Oh, how's is that turning yet? Yeah, so you can even see where it's starting to a little bit. That's not wire wheel? No. Damn. Pretty good, right? Yeah, it's awesome. So here, we'll show you. Sure, right here. So we haven't, oh, I already showed them that side. I don't know see. where you're having me walk. Up here, right here. <laughs> right here. But, so we have not touched right here with anything. So 
so once we wire wheel that, it'll get all the shit off, but the orange is going away. Yeah, 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 but it's all the, good. The orange it's, is going away. It's all good. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Gotta save my screws, I don't got a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, we have been out of those for a minute. He's reusing self tappers. You know? That's what happens around <laughs> these parts. What happens when you're a small business. So what Jesse's doing is pulling his self tappers. We're not broken spears. One at a time. Okay. So is that why you're leaving the space in between yeah. us just so it doesn't move on you? Yep. That is correct. And then he's plug welding. So after he gets these on, I'll go through with epoxy and just spray or brush that edge before he puts the quarters on. Are you gonna seam seal? Um, yeah, I'll probably seam seal too. So Jesse's got the quarters just hanging on here right now. They're not clamped on or anything. Um, so we melted the lead out and the way these quarters go on, which is how most quarters go on, um, they basically go underneath. So you can actually see where the quarter is underneath this roof skin. So really to do it the way that they come, you have to do the roof too. Otherwise you're gonna end up with a mess right here. So Jesse's just gonna fabricate a little section and weld that in solid. It'll just be one smooth coat of like a long strand fiberglass probably, and we'll be perfect. Yeah, let's or not perfect, but. Close. Yeah. I don't say perfect anymore. I'm trying to not say perfect anymore. I, I try to breathe, I try to breathe it. So we're ready now to put our doors on. You got the door pins? Mm -hmm. I had to get the little. All right, do we want to put the strikers in? No, no, Okay. I just need to see where it's going to sit, basically. Got it. So these doors don't have any adjustment because, obviously, they're pins. So what you see is what you get, essentially. So i got to adjust the quarter to the door. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's a way, but... There's a will. <laughs> So, if you look online um, at everybody, because I was doing a little bit of research to see if we could find any reason as to why this body line was a half an inch lower, because um, we couldn't figure out any difference we measured, and it was a little different. Um, so other videos on YouTube, people had cut at that body line and raised it up, but Jesse was able to get it pretty close. So we still need to do a little work. You can still see it's like a quarter inch too low. Yep. But if you look down here, it's the door sticks out and this door has no adjustment at all. So what we're gonna do is cut in here and push basically stick a flathead in there and pull it out so that it brings the quarter panel a little bit forward so that this is more of a like panel to panel like be flush um, and the door has no movement 
because of the pins up here, so we have no adjustment. We've already tried to pull the quarter panel back, and that's where we're at. So what we're gonna do is splice that open, and then when he does open it to pull it out, he'll also push it a little bit more that way to make this gap a little more consistent. But that's still a little too close. If you look at the other side, it's a lot wider, but the quarter panels are just a little bit different. So that's aftermarket, what you get. So this is almost about a week of JC fitting them to get them this close. And this a lot less cutting than the other people that I've seen, but we'll get it. And then these are still not attached, obviously. He's got a clamp there. That still needs clamp. And back here, that still needs clamp. He's and I don't this. know if it's you. Okay, One thing that I know we need to take a look around If I were the Good devil, there. this world would be my playground mm -hmm. My final act, I'll tell you what it'd be I have everyone so medicated they could never see My glove and hooves on horned head would be hard to sky And the best part of it all is they can climb with their demise The devil walks among us, friends, I know this is true And I don't 